Hey everyone, welcome to the workshop. I'm James Otter from Otter Surfboards and in today's board rack briefing I'm going to talk to you about one of our new models. This is called the Tea Tree Longboard. So called because it takes its inspiration from the boards of the 60s that were being made um, in Queensland at Noosa at the time. Um, we worked with, uh, with a board that a local pro surfer Sam Bleakley brought to us um, in an attempt to, to kind of to really tip our hats to the boards of that time and real traditional longboarding. Um, so you'll notice when you, when you look at the template of this board, it's got its wide point slightly moved further back. Um, so what that does is creates this rounded template at the back end, which makes it easier to, easier to maneuver. That curved outline helps, helps with the turning. But you've still got quite a wide tail, which generates lift as you're getting into waves and you're paddling and moving around. Then as we move down the board, you'll see that the rails taper in ever so slightly towards the nose. And what that does is allows them, when you start moving up the board, allows them to engage with the water and give you real good hold. It invites water back over the back end of the board to let you get to the nose with lots of control. And then to help once you're up there, you've got quite a shallow, big area of the concave at the front end here. And that really gives you that, that kind of security once you're up in, in, the, in trim at that front end. When we look at the rocker line, you'll notice that there's a little bit of a kick in the tail. And what that gives us um, is, again, a little bit more, um, more manoeuvring ability, because once you've rolled back on the back of the tail, you've got a lot of board out of the water that you can swing around. You'll notice as you move down the board as well, the rails are quite pinched. Um, that allows the water to wrap onto it nice and, nice and easily. It lets it kind of hold in the water once you've found trim um, and gives you that, that comfort and stability as you move up the board. And then towards the front end, there's a little, bit of, a little bit of flip in the nose, but not a huge amount. So it's a relatively low rocker. Um, this board is nine foot six in length. It is 23 inches wide and it's three inches thick. Um, so it's a fairly typical board of, of what we make in our, in our long boards. It sits in between the, the 9.4 seesaw and the 9.6 pier. The pier is similar in outline. It's a little bit straighter through the rail and a bit thicker. Um, so this one really lends itself to the person who's used to traditional long boarding, um, really enjoys walking the board, but wants something a little bit, a little bit more responsive. We would surf this in anything, anything from really kind of one foot up to about four or five feet, really. Once you get up to head high, it may start to struggle. Um, just because of that wide tail, it'll try and slip a little bit. might not give you the hold you, you really want. You can either join us on one of our five-day courses to come and make your own or have us custom make one for you. That's two ways you can get hold of one. Um, this one here was made on a workshop by one of our customers. You can follow us on all our social channels. Um, and we look forward to seeing you again in our next of our board wrap briefing series. Cheers.